right, guys. I am so excited. How are y'all doing today? That's good. As you see, I have a brown box. It's taped up. I received this in the mail. And this, I think, is from Mix to Mold. I had reached out to them. Um, I had a question for them. And they actually um, are sending me a gift. And so I'm so excited. So excited. Um, I do a lot. I use a lot of mixed malt and I really do like it. I like it a lot. Um, and it took me a little bit to get used to it. And it's like probably 90% of my projects are, are using mixed malt. Um, but yeah, so I have to go switch back and forth to the different mediums of artwork just because I forget how to use the other ones. It'd be like, I haven't used epoxy in forever, and then it's like, I forget how to use it. Then I haven't used mixed to mold or palette resin in a while, and I'm like, I forget how to use it, but, um, but yeah, so I'm so excited to open this. If that's who it's from, I don't know. It might not be, though. Your inner creative. Oh, Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, let me put this up. So I think it is. And the reps name that I spoke with, I believe her name is Lily. If I remember correctly. And if not, I'll have to correct this for sure. But oh my gosh, I have no clue what's in here. Oops, I'm sorry. I hope I'm not flushing anyone. I'm so excited. Look at this. Your inner crate to creative is calling what is in here i have no clue now unless this is something that i ordered or something i may be completely wrong but oh my gosh this box is so pretty I don't, it's like christmas no free reese fine art made easy <gasps> i'm so excited so this is from Brie Reese mixed the mold. Isn't this pretty? I'm like so excited. I'm delaying open it because I don't know what's in here. Guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Let me know where you're touching bases. Okay, are you ready? Are you excited to see what's in here? As excited as I am, you can't possibly be as excited as I am. I'm like, I've never received anything like this before from a um, vendor, so I'm so, so excited about it. Oh my goodness. Fine art made easy. Brie Reese art. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at this, guys. Look. look, look. I'm so, it's like Christmas, guys. Oh, there. There. You can see better. This. Um, I have to get this up. Sorry. I have got to get this open. Oh, there. That's better. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, I'm just like, Ugh. I can't, I can't stand it. Oh my goodness, I am like almost shaking. I'm not going to shake, I'm just, oh my gosh, okay. Dear Rachel, thank you so much for supporting our brand, our Mixed to Mold products. We are so glad that you have been loving Mixed to Mold. Thank you so much for taking the time to reach out. We hope you love those mixed these mixed mold goodies team breweries uh, i'm so excited guys oh my gosh <gasps> these are dried flowers on press and design no the rub on transfers stop it oh my goodness permanent easy to use mess free works on most surfaces 23 designs, one applicator, 24 pieces. Oh my gosh. You can use it on ceramic, glass, terracotta, metal, wood, plastic, um, cork, enamel, paper, silicone, plaster, and canvas. Oh, so these are just, oh my gosh. They look just like flowers, guys. Look at that. They look like dry flowers. I cannot wait to use these. I cannot wait to use them. Oh my gosh. I am stoked. 
I am like four easy steps. Cut, place, rub, and peel. That, y'all have no idea. Y'all have no clue. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And I did reach out to them about this. I, I've had a hard time finding this and I have wanted another one. It is the mixing set and I use mine I, because I, yeah, I use mine and it is getting like, oh, and I tried to make a homemade one, which I don't know where that one's at now, but I am so excited to have another one of these. You have no idea, no idea. Because once that one gets wet, then I can, or I can just mix two batches quickly. <gasps> this. Oh my goodness. Oh, 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 oh. What was that? Something. I, something has wasted somewhere. And I think it's probably, I have no idea. <laughs> I've gotten black on me from somewhere. Oh, it's my address ink thing. Oh my gosh, that's me. I don't even know where it's falling at. But it was my address ink thing. I'm like, oh my gosh, where did I get that ink from? Oh, it's trying to steal the joy from what I'm doing. Not having that. I will find it. <laughs> Hopefully it's not laying on my blue shirt. But look at this. Oh my goodness, guys. I, I like using this with the mix to mold just because... I have a hard time without using a recipe. I, I'm not a baker by any means. I know this isn't baking, but getting the mix just right for me keeps me from panicking. I know some people can mix it and they get it and they don't have to measure, but I'm one of those that has got to measure. I've got to measure it. And it may be like a little tad bit off or something like that, but I've got to measure. And let me tell you, this little thing right here works wonders for, I get no lumps. It is smooth as silk. I use this to scrape the sides if I need to, like a little spatula. But this works wonders, let me tell you. And mine's, I need to try to like clean. Oops, there, I think I got the rest of it out. But I use this, I use this all the time. I've tried using the wooden popsicle sticks and everything, but I get it, get, it takes longer to mix for me. I even bought this, and I think I got this from Timmy. It's like a um, hair dye um, with mix with, but yes, I'm so happy. I'm so happy, and this is amazing. This is amazing. The little spatula, and I don't know. I guess I did get this with my original set, but. I have no clue what I've done with it. That's typical, but I am so stoked about this. I am like, y'all have no idea. Just that, I, I use mine all the time. All the time, let me tell you. So I am so, so excited about that, guys. So excited, and these, I can't wait to use these. Cannot wait to use these. I've not seen these before. I have it now. I have the, those pet um, stickers that you put in things, and I, I, you, I mean, I guess I could stick those on something and have to seal it. <gasps> Look at that! I got some. Blue, oh my gosh, blue and blue color. <gasps> oh my gosh, I love blue. Blue is my favorite color, guys. Oh my goodness, I am a blue fan. I, I'm so excited. I'm so, so excited about this. So excited. So, oh my gosh. I've not used these. Oh, these would have been good in my Halloween. My Halloween thing. Oh my goodness. Teresa chips. Oh my gosh. And I think I do have some. Oh, look at these. Look at those beautiful blues. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to make something with these. Oh. This is like Christmas for me, guys. Y'all have no idea. I am so stoked. So incredibly stoked. All right. And this is the um, a one-pound bag of the, the white one, yeah. 
I cannot wait. I am going to have to make something. I'm going to have to find me a mold to make that. I'm so excited. I just, it's like a kid in a candy store. Oh my gosh. I'm so, so thank you so much, guys. Oh my goodness. Please. Is this a mold? Stop. Is this a mold? Guys. Oh, I will be using this and using these. Oh, you know what? I could, um, it's going to be blue and white. I, and, and, I know what I'm going to do. Yes, I will be doing a project. I don't know if I'll be doing it in this video or not, but I am so excited. Oh my gosh, look at this packing. Look at this. This box is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. That just, oh gosh, it just touches my heart. Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh my goodness, okay. This is what quality molds feel like. Stop it. Yeah, because 99% of all my molds are from Timu and but this, I don't, you can, oh my goodness, this, this feels nice. Like it will support the mixed mold. And it is a matte finish one, which is fine because it's the mixed molds. That's perfect. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's almost like a satiny. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to use this. And this is the extra large, extra large silicone wave tray mold. I am so excited, guys. I y'all have no clue. It's eleven point twenty five by six and a half. It. I am like so stoked. Oh my goodness. I. <laughs> I'm so excited. I am so so excited. All right. Let me try to get my composure here. Let me see if I'm going to be able to have time to make something. And I want to give it, oh my gosh, I want to give it the time that it needs. And the, oh, I can't, I can't wait. Yes, I will be used. Oh my goodness. Now, I've never done this before. I know you have to sand it. So, I'm going to try it. And I actually love that technique right there. That's when I'm thinking half blue and half white and <laughs> Okay, okay. I will be back. Let me get this cleared off and let me see if I can get I hope to be back. Let me see if I can get this cleared off and let's do a quick project. All right. Oh. All right, guys. I am back. We're going to do this. I'm trying to adjust my camera so that y'all can see everything. I hope that's good. All right, so I will be using a project using these. I can't wait. I really have to get some thought about how to place those, but I am so excited. This, I will be definitely using this mold, this gorgeous mold here. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. It is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at that. I actually, think that I have one similar to this that I gotten from Timu, but the quality is nothing like this. Oh my gosh. Look at the support. It's not going to drop. Ugh, I love that. Love that. Love that. All right. All right. So what I am going to do, I am using the blues. And I think I'm actually, even though I know this is blue, I may actually see if I add more glue to it if it will alter the color or any. I don't know. It might. It might not at all. Let's see if these are already open. Oh, yes. I'm about, I'm about ready to make a mess already. Let me shake you up. They're already open. Good to know. Yay. Uh, swirl to marble. Color to customize. Swirl to marble. Look at that beautiful. Look at that. 
Combine colors for a unique effect. Add color with only a few drops. Combine colors for a unique effect. Easy to use. Um, add a few drops to mix the molten stairwell. That's the colorize. To marble, add a few drops to mix the mold and lightly swirl. Okay. Okay. Alrighty, alrighty. Let's do this. So I will be using the, actually I make, do I have some already open? If I have some, some already open, I will, yes, I do. I go through so much of this. Um, I mean, it just, I go through it like, like it's water. It's crazy how fast I go through this. All right. So I am going to do white and I am going to do blue. So excited. All right, let's see. I'm trying to make sure I've gotten the um, record button pushed because, you know, you be chatting away and recording, doing, I mean, doing your project, thinking you're recording and haven't touched the record button. All right, let's see. Oh, and I love this. I do not have to wear gloves. I just, it's nice every now and then not to wear gloves when you're doing your project. I don't know. Maybe it's just being rebellious. All right. So I don't know. This says it's an extra large mold. It says it. It tells me it's an extra large mold. So I wonder what if I do two mediums? I'm going to tr try that. I'm going to see. I'm going to see if two mediums equal an extra large. So I am going to do. Yes, I measure mine because if not, I've been through. I If you're New Year, I have been through. Oh, that's the water level. I have been through a whole tub because I cannot get it mixed properly. And then I panic and I throw away like three huge projects because I was so frustrated with it. And I was about ready to shelf it and take everything that I'd gotten back to the store. But I went back to using this and it's helped me tremendously. So I'm gonna do the white one in this one. And I'm going to set this aside because I may need to mix a little bit more. This is the five pound bucket. And this one I actually get from Michael's. I still get it at Michael's. My local Michael's still carries it. And the reason I get it from Michael's is because I have the Michael's reward, um, you know, program. And I, yeah, to me, that's when I'm saving 15 to 10 bucks on an item, yeah, it's well worth it for me to do that. Because when the tubs are about $29, and so that means I, and I get it when it's usually on sale, and then if I'm getting $10 off of it, then it makes it a lot more affordable, a whole lot more affordable because any type of resin, whether it's powder or epoxy, oh, you have to get it when you can get it on sale and whatever promotions the manufacturer or the, um, the merchant, the seller may have, then you need to get it. And I'm doing medium. I did say I'm doing medium right. Did I do a large one? Guys, I've already messed up. I think I did a large, didn't I? That looks like a large. That's a large. All right. That is most definitely a large, I think. I think. Maybe it's not. All right. But that's a medium right there. <laughs> I know. They're both mediums, I think. Oh, my gosh. You know, here I go. I start talking, and I don't know where I'm at. I forget. No, it was a medium. Okay. I had, oh, had not lost my mind. It's just a hair over a medium, but it's good. 
<laughs> okay. Two mediums. Yay. All right. Let's put you aside. And I don't know how to do these. Oh. All right. I'll figure it out. I will figure it out. I will figure it out. All right. And remember, I'm doing a medium. I'm so excited, guys. I am just so stoked. All right, I'm just doing a hair over the medium. Pour you in here. Let's get you mixed up. Yes, I, this whisk thing is like, it's, it just mixes. Bailey. It just mixes it up wonderfully. Look at that. No lumps, no bumps. And yeah, I will let that set there for a bit. And while I mix this one, let's do a medium. It's just a few ripplets over the medium, both of them were. And where's my other mixer? Oh, I think I put it back in the box. All right, that's fine. I have this one. Yeah, the little whisk, they work wonders. Um, I tried mixing it with a popsicle stick and it does not mix it very well. Um, but the whisk, wonderful. All right. All right, guys, now I have Time to think about how I want to do this. All right, <clears throat> let's see. All right, what are my thoughts? I am going to spritz it with a little bit of alcohol. I don't know if you need to or not, but I do. I am. I don't know how much it affects it. Let's just get that. I think it's because it's liquidy enough that it's fine. Um, I think I want to do the terrazzo and the white. And I said I wanted to add a little bit more. Oh, this blue is gorgeous. But I do want to add a little more blue to it. I don't know if it's going to make a difference in it or not. Um, I don't know. We will find out. <gasps> My fingers are going to be blue. <laughs> Get that off. Oh, that's going to be nice. All right. All right, all right. Let's see. Um, and do I want to put these chips in here? I think I do. I think I do. Let's use these. I'm excited. Oh, they're gorgeous. They're so I, I'm like breathless. I am just gonna mix. I've never done this. Never used these. I tried making some. Um, I, but mine's are so big. These are nice, and now I know how to make them. Wow, so very thin. Oh, this, this is gorgeous. I put more. <gasps> Don't want to waste them. I will have used my whole pack in here. Uh, all right. It's gorgeous. All right, guys, let's do this. Make sure it's stirred up. And all right, um, do I just want it to be half and half? I think I do. that oh this is beautiful so I didn't even need to do a medium and medium I don't think because I think this is even let's just and you see I do this on like the cutting board 
and that way I can kind of like shimmy it without tapping it so much. And I want to fill this all the way, all the way. There we go. And I just have a little bit left. Oh, it's so pretty. Ah, <laughs> oh, my gosh. I am just like over the moon. All right. I need to find another little mold. And I think I have a poster one somewhere. Oh, I do. I have a little tray one. I don't know which one I look. I think this poster one. It's going to be just fine. Oh, I wish I had this. Oh, you know what? Let's just do this. Don't panic. Don't panic. Just get this over here. Squirts. I hope this isn't like dye or something in there. It is something in there. And then what red in there? It's probably orange from <laughs> the last pours I did. Okay. Let's do this. Let's make sure this is mixed up good. I don't want to leave anything in there. Guys, that fits about perfect. Perfect. Let me get the rest of this out of here. I am so excited. So, so excited. Oh my gosh. Get all of this goodness out of here. I, I sound like I'm cooking now. It's like, you know, when you watch someone on a food channel, they're like, ah, oh, get all of that goodness out of there. Just get it all out, leave nothing on here. Waste nothing. So excited. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is like an early Christmas for me. Y'all have no idea, no idea. Oh my goodness. Well, <laughs> probably some of you do. It's like, it's so nice to be able to get uh, something so unexpected and a surprise. And one of the things that when <laughs> my daughter asks me, what do I want for Christmas? I'm like, my Amazon gift card, <laughs> a Michael's gift card. <laughs> <sighs> but do I really need any more things? Yes, I I can't get enough of the molds. I can't. It's ridiculous. All right, I can't wait. Oh, but I will have to wait. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to clean this up, and I will be back when it's time to demold, which won't be long for this. And I had fit. I need to figure out. Which one of these beautiful stickers am I going to use? All right, be back. All right, guys, it's time to demold. Ah, so exciting. So I actually had to run out and for Aaron. And so it's been uh, maybe an hour and a half that it's, uh, it's been setting. It's been curing. It's all done. Now, um, I think partially because maybe I had it where it was a lot of more water in it than normal. That's why some of the blue comes off, some of the dye comes off that I put in because it, the resin was quite runny and that was due to the way that I was mixing it. But it's no worries. The excess that will just wipe off and it's no worries. All right, let's do this one first. We'll save the showstopper for last. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this. That is so pretty. Look at that. Oh my goodness, look at this. And this is without me even sanding it yet. And I will sand this, but I won't, I'll let it cure before I sand it. Um, again, I think that's probably be, uh, maybe because I added a little bit more water. I didn't, you know... 
it was it was better it was on the thinner side but that's fine and so right before this cured i found one of the silicone um rubber stamps and i just stuck it on there and this might it was harder than i thought it was going to be so it may not actually take but it's okay right now it looks cute so it might wipe off i am going to wipe off this excess because It'd be all over my hand. And again, this is just because um, it was a thinner consistency. And so whenever I've noticed that you put coloring in it, this is more so just the water, the water that, um, because it's so thin. So it's fine. I think it's fine. And this is the back, so it's not a big deal to me. It's just getting off that excess, just the water that was left over. It's dry, but I'm just kind of getting that off because it will be all over my hands. And I don't want it all over my hands. All right. I cannot wait to demold this. All right. Let's do this. Let's get this out the way. Look at that. Oh, and the imprint of that is still there. It's so pretty. Oh, that's pretty. That is gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. All right. Let's do this. All right. Yeah, it demolds like a charm. Perfect, perfect. All right. Let's see. Are we ready? Okay, okay. Let's see. Let's get this out. All right. And that, I'm not sure what causes that. And that could have been just because, like I said, it was a thinner pour that I did. Um, but, oh! gosh it's gorgeous look at this guys look at that <gasps> look at that I love it and that's without any sanding I'm just gonna kind of like wipe this down because I know it just because I'm thinking the thinner pour that I did oh my gosh look at that Oh my goodness, it's just, it's so pretty. I, I don't even want to sand that. Oh my gosh, look at this. It looks like, I'm not sure what happens when the Terezo you put in it, it's like it does cause like air pockets or something so it probably will need to be sanded and again I'm wondering if it was because it was a thinner pour but I don't know the blue is fine but I love it nevertheless I love it look how it actually has like a rustic feel to it but I will sand that down oh this is so pretty I can't get over how gorgeous this is. Oh my goodness. This is such a gorgeous piece. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Look at this, guys. Look. And I will sand these two, both of these down. And this is with these chips in it. Yeah, I will sand it down some just to get some more of that to come through. But look at the dark colors right there. They're so pretty. I can't get over that. Oh, it's gorgeous. I will do like a light sanding on this, but I want to make sure that it's cured really well. And yeah, this has the same texture because of the Terrazzo chips in it. So I will sand them both down. This is a little bit smoother on this side, though. But I want to make sure it's completely cured before I start putting pressure on it with sanding. 
because and then I will be back and I will then hopefully have decided. I'm thinking that one maybe. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I have to figure out which one I want to put on here. Decisions, decisions. All right, I'll be back. All right, so guys, I could not wait. I decided to go and try doing some sanding. And look at that come through. <gasps> look at that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm not going to do a whole lot, but I just wanted to show you how it is coming through beautifully. I hope you all can see this. It's just so pretty. I can't get over it. <laughs> All right, I will be patient because it is, it's not like a super thick tray and I don't want to cause any damage to it by putting too much pressure on it. So, I will be back. All right, guys. Oh, look at this. I'm. It still has not been 24 hours. No, I just kind of like wiped it down with the baby wipe so you can see the colors come through and I did a light sanding but look at that oh my gosh I have never used these chips before oh my goodness look at this it's just it's stunning look at that it's the back side you can see the little <laughs> the little butterfly you put in there but look at that and this is just because it still is in the curing process so I'm not going to seal it yet I'm going to let all the moisture get out of it it takes about 24 hours fully to get all that moisture out but oh, look at that look this is the extra oh my gosh so I wanted to, I know I just keep coming back to this. I wanted to see, oh my goodness, look at these. Oh, these are taking my breath away too. Oh my gosh, aren't these gorgeous? Look at these. Oh my gosh, I don't even know which one. I want to put on here. I almost want to put that one right there. Oh, I just, I don't know. Oh, okay. And then it just, you just kind of like, oh, look at that. Or maybe that purpley blue one. Oh my gosh, these are gorgeous. I don't know, something about the yellow. Mm, I could do it this way. I don't know. I don't know which one I want. I don't know, I will definitely have to decide. Ah, oh, so many decisions, so many decisions. I have to really think about that. I'm almost gearing towards that little violet there. That is so pretty. But I like them all. But I want something that's not going to take away from that. I may just use these on a different project. I might have to do that. Because these are so beautiful in itself. And then this is so beautiful within itself. I think this needs to be on something that's white. So yeah, I'll have to give that its own special showroom. So I, plan B, I don't think I'll be using these on it. So, oh, but I can't wait to use these. I absolutely cannot wait to be able to use these. I am so excited. So back to the other plan. What I will do is go ahead and seal these up once they have completely like dried out. Um, I'll give it, you know, 
It might be around 2 a.m. in the morning, but I'll do that and then I'll seal these properly and come back with some pictures. All right, guys, I won't come back. I'll have some pictures posted. And what I will seal this with, usually I seal this, this is just Liquitex that I have mixed with some water and I'll just seal it with that. I also have a wax that I may actually use the wax on and um, seal it with that. So um, yeah, I'll have to see which one I wanna use on it. Okay, I'll come back with some pictures. Bye.